just hit it as soon as it comes down. It's that's very easy. All right, so all the lava will turn into obsidian, and we now turn into a snow-themed level. And the fire shield is very useful here. A lot, actually, a lot more useful than in Act One. So you want to make sure you don't die, obviously, but you want to make sure you keep it as much as possible through here. And always, and always look around because there are a few. Uh, I know of at least one special stage ring here, so you always want to be on the lookout for that. Okay, I guess the rocks do uh, bounce off of the shields. I wasn't sure if they'd done that or not. Okay, cool. <laughs> so you don't gotta dodge them with if you have the shield on or not, or if you have a shield on or not. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I don't much care for this version. Uh, later on in the zone, it does get a lot more frustrating. Especially if you're just trying to jump around. The electric shield would be better through this section just because you could double jump with it. But the fire shield is safer. Obviously because it, you won't uh, get hit by any of the f fire or the flames that are coming out. Just jump against these walls and you'll usually find a, a hidden ring. Sometimes you can look through the wall and see a... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to go up there because I know what's up there. So I won't go up that way. I'll just continue on to the right. But I thought there was a, sp a special stage ring in there. But obviously not. Alright, so we'll just keep, keep going on through the level. There will be at least, I know, of two sections where you'll have to run along the wall. And this is the first special stage ring, I believe. Yep, there we go. And I believe there's one more further on in the zone. All right, so this one, well, I guess I won't save it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, since I would, I would of course like to get all the ring or uh, get all the blue sphere or get as many chaos emeralds as I can, but I'm not gonna uh, worry with it too much. So, so since there isn't there isn't any break in these blue spheres around these uh around the edges of these fields you have to jump and it's, this it really isn't too hard it's going to be a lot more harder if you want to go after the perfect here because you can see the rings are in the middle there and this one relies on uh quick reflexes more than any other one obviously okay let's fix and say wow but there we go, that's the blue, and I should have four now. Only three more, but hey. Anyway, so... Uh... Alright, so drops us back a little bit farther in the zone. We don't want to go up there, so we're not going to worry about any of that. Uh... Let's see. There we go. And these, these platforms will continuously... Those uh, will continuously keep rebuilding themselves. So you want to be careful about that. Make sure you do have your fire shield around here. Uh, the spikes will hurt you, of course, as they always do throughout the zone. Or like in, in most Sonic... In all Sonic games, the spikes will hurt you. So don't, don't, don't hit the balls. Don't hit the uh, bottoms of those platforms. Oh... Yeah, you want to be careful. You don't want to ha be pushing the... You just kind of want to let it do it all by itself through that section because you will go fat too fast and you won't be able to stop yourself. Be careful through here because there are these spikes uh, rotating around these platforms. And you don't want to lose your sh fire shield right now because you still have a little ways in the level to go and we will need it. So, just... Ow. Okay. Uh... There we go, you just wait for it to uh, dissipate the cloud because it, it will dissipate after a while. Yeah, see, you gotta be a little bit more careful and ouch, cautious. There we go. I wanna get that fire shield uh, through here with without the fire shield. 
Ow, come on. There we go. Uh, anyway. Yep, there we go. Alright, I guess that's for later on in the zone. You can just, uh, run into the cloud and immediately try to destroy the, the, uh, pipe. F okay, for here you want to be on the side closest to the screen, because that'll send you up, up higher into the air than what you could, uh, then just kind of jumping at off at the top. And this is where the second special stage ring is. In this zone, and this looks like it's going to be kind of like the one in uh, Sonic in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Ouch! Yeah, you want to be very careful while traveling through here. I really should save it, but uh, like I said, I don't want to go through all the trouble. But I'm going to regret it, I know I will. Yeah, especially through these, this section, I, I recognize this one. This one's a pain to deal with, but anyway. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'll get a perfect, but I might get a continue, which is good enough for me. Yeah, this is like a maze running through here. And it gets very, uh, tricky, and it's very easy to forget where you were before. No, there we go. Uh, and you will be running back through sections that you've already passed, trying to look for any blue spheres, and I think I know where the other two are. Let's see if I can't jump. Yep, and there we go. So that's number five. And that would be the great Chaos Emerald. But I believe that will be the last Chaos Emerald I can get because I don't know of any more spe uh, special stage rings in the upcoming zones. Sadly, but... Uh, I probably missed a few in... Uh, the Flying Battery Zone. Along with probably a few in... Uh, Sandopolis. that I could have very easily went after, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. And I know I did mi I did miss one in uh, which the Mushroom Hill Zone that I could have went after very easily. Yeah, I'm so used to having the Fire Shield that I don't really worry about that section. Ooh, yeah. So, just like in Sonic 1 with these uh, with these pillars, it'll rotate the spikes around. Just wait for the spikes to be on the other side of the pillars, and you should be able to make it through okay. No special stages over there. Ouch. Alright, so there is a, a, pla uh, a barrier there. You want to make sure you hit that button before jumping in there, obviously, or you will get burnt. Alright, so this is the... Uh, trek up to the boss. You want to make sure you don't jump in that lava. Because you won't be able to get back up. If you do. And this this area just takes a little bit more patience. And, uh... Timing your jumps a little bit more. Especially right up here. Through this section. Now, as soon as you're under, right above the platform, jump. But don't touch the uh, control stick or the directional buttons. Ah, no. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, okay. So, I could get a, I can't get back up from there. That sucks, I fell. But yeah, just don't touch any... Don't make Sonic move past the uh, platform when he's right underneath it. And yeah, that's the easiest way to get, to get to it. Sometimes you will get up here and you won't see the platform. I don't even know. Oh, that's right. I did. I didn't. Uh, I hesitated right there. But yeah, well, uh, this is the trek up to the boss, and you can see the Death Egg is stuck in the uh, stuck in the 
ceiling back there. Making we can hear Knuckles' music. Now he's gonna throw a rock at us. He can just fall back down the stairs and down this hole. If you fall down this hole before this section, you will uh you will die, so just don't do it. And the death egg used its eye lasers and turned all of this to lava, it would seem. And now this boss is a boss where you really need a uh, fire shield at, and which we will be getting very soon. But don't, uh, for this section, don't uh, be too slow because the screen will push you, as you can see. It, and it will continue to push you, and if you do fall, you will die. But just make sure you're fast enough. And it will stop at about this one. Yeah, so now you can jump down if you want to. If you know where to go, this will, this will be a lot faster. Uh, there's a lightning shield we want to get to really quickly just to help us get to this fire shield. And then from here you can just fall straight to the bottom. But to start the boss battle you have to get all the way to the right of the screen and then wait for a... Okay, wait for this one, I'm sorry, to all the way to the left side of the screen, wait for this rock to fall down, and that starts the boss fight. Alright, so just, you, you, we can't hurt Robotnik, the uh, spiked balls that he's shooting at us can, and you can see why this is, why this, we need the uh, fire shield. If you do, however, lose your fire shield, you, all you have to do is just jump on these rocks, which isn't too hard, it just takes a lot more timing. Uh... But yeah, the robotics machine will just keep popping up to the left and the right of the screen, uh, and that's it'll be a, a pattern, so you, don't, you won't get uh, confused, and you don't have to worry. Okay, well, which side is he gonna jump on? It's it's uh, consistent left and right. All you gotta do is just wait. I believe uh, three times or three passes for robotic to hurt himself. And that's the Lava Reef Zone. Okay, maybe four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, that's the last one. Okay, so... Anyway, I thank you for watching the challenge of the video is how, how many of these little rocks did Robotnik destroy? I thank you for watching. We'll see another... Little cutscene. Until next time. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a player-controlled cutscene. Until next time.